the final of the women's 400 meters t47 world champion aruna liebenberg goes in this the asia oceana champion lalwala palala gurawanas of sri lanka also but no unidis castillo injured in the 100 meters final and not in this amanda Serna of chile the pan am champion over 100 meters and 200 as well lane seven here is the asia Oceania champion from Sri Lanka and it's Amara Indumat Lalwala Palaya Goranans gold in the two and the four silver in the long jump in Dubai Li Lu of China her first major championship it's been a very good CV so far in these games Aruna Liebenberg is in lane four for South Africa the reigning world champion from Doha Teresina de Jesus Correa Santos does not start in five. His Sai Tuji of Japan in lane three, six in the 100 meters final in Doha, and seventh here in Rio. From Lima, first major championship for Yeni Vargas, who was one of the fastest losers for Peru here. And in lane one for the United States, based in Palo Alto in California, Fourth in the 100 and the 200 at the Pan Am Games in Toronto, it's Amy Watt. Quite a number of DNSs here. Remember, they are quite strict in the call room these days. We can only try and extrapolate why. But Alan Oliveira also a DNS in the previous race. So it's Watt in one, Vargas in two, Suji in three, while Champion Liebenberg four, Lilu six, Lalwala in seven. And Cernet Nate, the final of the women's 400 meters, T47. <laughs> so away they go, good focus on Liebenberg in lane four, who's away very well, and Li Lu for China has absolutely flown out of the blocks in lane six, the 21 year old. Competing in a major championship for the first time. She wasn't even the last Asian Games. She's overtaken the Asia Oceania champion, Lalwala Palaya Karanis, on her outside, and also Amanda Serna of Chile. But has she gone too early? Because Liebenberg is beginning to put the foot down now for South Africa, the world champion from Doha last year. Silver in the 400 meters behind the bullet, Yunus Castillo at London 2012. It's Liebenberg out in front as we reach the closing straight. Lilu trying to fight back in second, and she is coming with every stride again, Lilu. Liebenberg holding on, but Lilu has overtaken her on the line, and Lilu is going to win for China. Lilu is the champion. Liebenberg takes the silver. Suji is up. The bronze for Japan. Senna is fourth for Chile, but it's that. Great wave of new Chinese talent that strikes again. An Asian record for Li Lu. She gets the gold, 58.09. Liebenberg looked in control. Li Lu looked to have gone too early. Then Liebenberg responded. Li Lu still had something left. And she takes the gold. And just like a lot of these new faces for China, she is a champion. Liebenberg, a bit of delight, perhaps. With that silver medal, Suji gets the bronze. Liebenberg with another silver in this 400 meters. And it's the best result in the career of Suji with the bronze. Well, I thought the 23-year-old from South Africa had it. Liebenberg round the turn, but you're quite right, haven't we, unearthed some in particular on this seventh day of the Rio Paralympic Games from China. Li Lu, they upset Isis Hold earlier in the 100 meters. And again, just coming with a brilliant burst down the straight. And even halfway up the straight, I thought Liebenberg might sense her opponent coming and kick, but she wasn't able to find any more. She runs a consistent pace the entire way, Liebenberg, but there's no real ping at the end here of the 400. But Li Lu exploding away and was getting quicker as the race went on. But uh, an exciting race.
Suji doing a really good job. Even though she was losing her form late, she was getting tired from Japan, the bronze medalists. But still has the 200 to go, Li Lu. A huge amount of new Chinese talent emerging here in Rio. And Li Lu knew with about five meters to go that the title was going to be hers. It's another new name, another new champion. Liebenberg in the lead here. She was beginning to tie up. Li Lu was 10 meters back at that stage, but coming with every stride on the inside. And then that moment, with something like 30 meters to go, Liebenberg aware that Li Lu was there and the South African couldn't respond. It's gold for China again in the engine now. And for China, that is their 16th gold medal, their 39th medal in total. Li Lu, 21 years old, and she is the new Paralympic champion for China. Silver for Liebenberg for South Africa, and Tsai Tsuji gets the bronze for Japan. Center fourth for Chile.